Most of us know about basically two ways of saying goodbye to the dead, cremations and burials. You'll be surprised to know about some of the strange, creative, and straight-up bizarre funerals that different cultures around the world practice. Here are some weird funeral rituals from around the world. Sky Burial Sky Burial is common in Tibet among Buddhists who believe in the value of sending their loved one's souls toward heaven. In this ritual, bodies are left outside, often cut into pieces, for birds or other animals to devour. If a Tibetan dies, the corpse is wrapped in white Tibetan cloth and placed in a corner of the house for three or five days, during which monks or lamas are asked to read the scripture aloud so that the souls can be released from purgatory. The family members stop other activities in order to create a peaceful environment to allow convenient passage for ascension of souls into heaven. Later, the family members will choose a lucky day and ask the body carrier to carry the body away to the celestial burial platform. On the day before the burial, the family members take off the clothes of the dead and fix the corpse in a fetal position. Specifically, the body is bent into a sitting position, with the head against the knees. At dawn on the lucky day, the corpse is sent to the burial site among mountains which is always far from the residential area. Then so smoke is burned to attract vultures, lamas chant sutras to redeem the sins of the soul, and a professional celestial burial master deals with the body. Philippines Traditions When it comes to the Philippines, there were just too many to choose from. The Tinguian people dress the deceased in the fanciest of clothes and sit the body on a chair, often placing a lit cigarette in the lips, while the Bengay people blindfold their dead before placing them in chairs at the entrance of the home. The Cebuano people dress children attending funerals in red to lessen the chance that they will see ghosts. The Sagata region features coffins hung from cliffs, bringing the souls of the dead closer to heaven, while people in Cavita often entomb the deceased vertically in a hollowed-out tree chosen by the person before death. The diversity of regions in the Philippines has given rise to a diversity of Filipino burial rituals that come second to none. Fomati Hana a Typical family reunion doesn't usually involve meeting your dead relatives. In Madagascar, however, an important celebration called Fomati Hana is a time for Malagasy people to spend time with their loved ones both living and deceased. The Malagasy celebrate this event so that new family members can meet their ancestors and memories can be shared and never forgotten. The tradition, called Fomati Hana in Malagasy, is sometimes referred to as dancing with the dead, the turning of the bones or body turning. It involves exhuming the bodies of the dead, re-wrapping them in fresh cloth and then dancing with the wrapped corpses before returning the remains to their graves. The tradition is practiced in the central region of the island nation, on the country's high plateaus. Tower of Silence T Tower of Silence is a cremation or burial ground for Parsis. According to the customs, when a Parsi dies, the body is brought to the Tower of Silence and laid under the open sky to be fed upon by scavenger birds, mostly vultures. The uppermost row near the wall is for male bodies, middle one for females, and the innermost is for children. The well in between, also known as Bandar, is where the bones go. They are left there for a few days to dry under the scorching sun before removal. Buried in a fantasy coffin In Ghana, people like to be buried in something that represents their lives. 
Fantasy coffins are caskets that a few select craftsmen carve and paint to look like animals or objects. They often match the deceased interests, character traits, or profession. The coffin often imitates something the person might see every day. Alternatively, a fantasy coffin could represent something the person wished to see in the afterlife. With so many things and ideas available to represent both real and imagined it's no wonder there's such a range of colorful and fantastic caskets in Ghana. These include coffins shaped like planes for pilots, fish for fishermen and a Mercedes for a businessman.